all. Thank you for joining me for some yoga today, some gentle yoga, a nice gentle yoga flow. And today go ahead and grab your mat, grab your blocks, grab your strap, just the essentials, maybe grab some water as well. And just preparing yourself for a really good gentle practice, something to get you moving, something to get you flowing, get your endorphins going, get your body lengthened and strengthened, muscles relaxed and rejuvenated, and your mind relaxed and rejuvenated. So maybe sitting up tall, crown of the head lifting towards the sky, lengthen through that torso, through that spine, dropping our chin to chest. Let's take our eyes to sky and chin to chest and eyes to sky. Drop ear to shoulder and other shoulder. Drop that chin to chest and we'll do some neck circles here. So just a few neck circles. Preparing that our body for a few sun salutations. Good, let's bring that head, lift it center. Go ahead and looking over to one side. Think about chin going over that shoulder. Take our left hand, place it on right thigh and let's twist. bring this back to center. Let's take it to the other side and twist. And bring this back to center. Let's reach up through our arms. Inhale. As we exhale, let's drop our left hand in front, right hand behind. Twist. Lift that up. Inhale. Now let's drop our right hand in front, left hand behind. Twist. And again, one more time each side, reach this up and twist and lift this up. I'm losing my lights all over the place and twist. Good. Let's bring this back to center. Inhale and sweep and then exhale and release. Take ourselves back onto all fours. We'll curl our toes under. We're going to go into a downward facing dog. So. Curl that under, and remember, in our down dog, if you don't feel like doing a do down dog today, you can always stay on all fours. So curling our toes, lifting up, or staying on all fours, relaxing our head and neck, and begin to pedal our feet. Dropping our heels towards the floor. Lift up on our toes, heels high. Let's go ahead and drop those over to the right. And then lift up and drop over to the left. And lift up, drop back to our knees, back into child's pose. So let's reach through. Bring ourselves back up, curl our toes under, lift ourselves back up, downward facing dog, knees nice and bent, relax that head and neck, maybe nodding that head, and then you can begin to straighten those legs, lengthen up through that, and then again, dropping to our knees and taking ourselves back into child's pose. So we're kind of strengthening, warming up those shoulders, the arms, the chest, as well as getting some inversion going. One more time like that, we're going to curl our toes under, lift ourselves up, downward facing dog, find a nice down dog here, breathe it for a few breaths, pressing through the heels. Good, and then dropping to our knees, back in the child's pose. Take that back. And then go and bring this up, curl our toes under, lift ourselves up, downward facing dog. Let's walk our feet to meet our hands till we get to a standing forward fold at the front edge of your mat. And you can grab your blocks to use for 
our sun salutations. All right, but first let's go ahead and do our standing forward fold and we're going to ragdoll. So if you need to bend those knees, if it feels better for your hamstrings for the back of the body, feel free to do that. And you can allow your arms to hang like a rag doll, allow that head to hang. And then maybe taking opposite elbow with the opposite hand and frame that head. So now those arms become heavier, upper body becomes heavier. And go ahead and release those arms. Let's inhale into monkey. So let's go ahead and flatten our back and look forward. And then exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale and sweep our arms up towards the sky. Let's exhale it around into chair. Inhale and lift this up. And exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale into monkey, flattening the back and looking forward. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up towards the sky. Exhale it around into chair. Good, inhale and lift this up. And exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale into monkey, flattening the back and looking forward. Exhale, release. Let's keep our right foot forward and take our left foot back into lunge. And lunge can be as low or as high as you want. You can have hand on the block, on the floor, wherever it feels most comfortable for you. And we've got our spinal twist over to the right. Right there, breathe into this. Bring this back to center. Let's go ahead and drop our back knee, uncurl our toe, and bring ourselves back into crescent on the floor. So let's reach through those arms, lengthen through that. And then release this. Let's go ahead and take our right foot back to meet our left foot into top of plank. So you've got your nice plank going on here. Slowly shifting our weight forward, drop to the fronts of our knees. Let's uncurl our toes. Our arms are right by our rib cage as we take the heart towards the floor. The heart goes to the floor and then the heart comes off of the floor. Baby cobra, shoulders away from our ears. Curl our toes under, let's lift it up and press it downward facing dog and breathe. Walk both of our feet to meet our hands to standing forward fold at the front edge of your mat. Once you get there, let's go ahead and inhale it into monkey. Let's flatten that back and look forward and then release that. Let's inhale, sweep our arms up towards the sky and reach those arms around. Inhale and lift this up. And exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, monkey, flattening the back, looking forward. Exhale, release. Left foot's gonna stay forward, right foot's gonna go back into that lunge. The right hand is either on the block or the floor, wherever it feels most comfortable for you. And we've got that nice spinal twist over to the left. Breathe it here. Bring this back to center, drop our back knee, uncurl our toe, bring ourselves up, crescent on the floor, reach. And then bring this forward, let's go ahead and take that left foot back to meet that right foot to that strong top of plank. Let's shift our weight forward, drop to fronts of our knees, uncurl our toes, arms right by our rib cage as we take our heart to the floor. Heart comes off of the floor, baby cobra. Curl our toes under, lift, press up, downward facing dog, and breathe in this down dog. Walk both of our feet to meet our hands, standing forward fold, front edge of the mat. 
Let's inhale, flatten our back, looking forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep our arms up towards the sky. Let's exhale around into chair. Inhale and lift this up. And exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, flattening the back, looking forward. Exhale, release. Right foot stays forward, left foot goes back. Let's drop our back heel and bring ourselves up into warrior one. So press right into that back foot, press into that front foot. Bring yourself strongly up into warrior one. Front knee is bent, very nice. From here, let's strongly open up into Proud Warrior. Again, think about that weight, so centering that weight, same amount of weight front leg, same amount back leg. So really press into that back heel. Everything's working here, so grip with the, grip your toes on the floor. Reach through those fingers, but your face is relaxed. Let's drop our back arm palm up Reach through this reverse warrior, lengthen through that. Release our front leg and let's go ahead and take ourselves down into triangle right here. So hand can be on that shin, on that thigh, or on a block. And get that nice long torso, very nice, breathe it here. Bring ourselves back up into Proud Warrior. So bending that front leg, so Warrior Two. And now we're going to windmill our arms down towards the floor. Let's go ahead and take that right foot back to meet that left foot, top of plank. Drop to front of the knees, uncurl those toes. Heart goes down and then heart off of the floor. Curl our toes under, lift it up, press downward facing dog and breathe. Walk our feet to meet our hands, standing forward fold. Let's inhale, flatten the back, look forward. And exhale, release. Inhale, sweep our arms up towards the sky. Exhale it around into chair. Inhale and lift this. And let's dive it down and over. Inhale, flatten the back, look forward. And then release. Our left foot stays forward, right foot goes back. Let's drop our back heel. Press strongly into that back foot, press strongly into that front foot, and bring ourselves up into a strong warrior one. Very nice, breathe it here. Open this up into proud warrior. And again, grip that floor, press through those feet, relax that face. Let's drop our back arm, palm up, and reach through this reverse warrior. Release our front leg and let's go ahead and take ourselves down into triangle. So hand on the, sh on the shin, on the thigh, or use a block here and lengthen through that torso. Breathe into this. And then let's go ahead and bring ourselves back up, warrior two. So bend that front knee. Let's windmill our arms down towards the floor. Take our left foot back to the top of plank. Shift our weight forward, drop to fronts of our knees, uncurl our toes, and let's take our hearts to the floor and then heart off of the floor. Curl our toes under, lift it up. Press downward facing dog. Breathe it here. From here, we're going to center our weight and go into a one leg down dog, or three leg, three leg down dog, not one leg. Three leg down dog, so let's lift our right leg up and go ahead and rotate the ankle. We're going to bring our leg through and take ourselves into pigeon. So go ahead and bring this through. Now, if it's difficult to bring this through, then go ahead and you can just bring yourself down onto the floor into pigeon. So we've got that front leg, in the front, back leg back, and again, if this is difficult, feel free to bend that back leg. So we've got that front leg, it can be on the hands, it can be on the elbows, or you can be all the way down on the floor. 
But our goal here is that we're opening the hips and the glutes. So releasing tension right there. Breathing into this. Very nice. From here, let's curl our back toe under, and we're going to bring ourselves back up into a downward facing dog. So lifting that up, downward facing dog, or you can be on all fours, and then get ready into that downward facing dog. But go ahead and relax that head again, and we're going to do that pigeon on the other side. So finding our stability here, centering our weight, three leg down dog with our left leg up this time. Let's rotate that ankle and rotate it the other way and then let's go ahead and bring that knee through and take that into pigeon on this side and again if you feel more comfortable of just getting here then you can do that that back leg doesn't have to be straight you can bend it and hinge into this but we're opening that hip opening that thigh opening that glute breathing it here Let's curl that back toe under, press into our hands, and lift ourselves strongly into downward facing dog or onto all fours, and then into down dog. Again, relax that head and neck. Give yourself a breath here in that down dog, and then let's walk our feet to meet our hands. Standing forward fold, front edge of our mat. Let's go ahead, inhale, sweep our arms up towards the sky. Let's exhale it around into chair. Good. From here in chair, let's take our hands to our heart, and let's go ahead and take our right foot back and keep our heel lifted. So we're going to do crescent standing. We did it on the floor. Now we're going to do it standing, so lengthening through this. From our crescent, we're going to go right into our balance, warrior three. So bringing ourselves forward, lifting up onto that toe, lifting through that leg. The arms can be out, out, or on the back so wherever it feels best for you but moving right into that balance and again whatever it looks like for you and maybe right here maybe here lifting all the way but again it's where your body's ready to go and falling remember falling out of the pose is just as much of a part as yoga as staying in it because you're strengthening that body Let's go ahead and release that leg back down, but keeping our heel lifted. So find yourself back into your crescent. So reach up, and you might be feeling really good strengthening in that left leg right there. Good, bring hands to heart, and we're going to bring our leg back forward until we're in that seated form. Very nice. From here, let's inhale and sweep our arms up. And exhale, dive it down, and over, standing forward fold. Inhale and lift our arms up towards the sky. Exhale around into chair. Let's bring our hands to heart, and this time we'll take our other foot back. So taking our left foot back, keeping that heel lifted. Crescent on this side, reach up through those arms, keep heel up. Finding that weight, centering that weight, and when you're ready, bringing ourselves forward and right into that balance, so whatever that looks like for you. So maybe right here, up on that toe, or all of that together. And arms can be wherever. And then go ahead and bring this back, coming back to the ball of the foot, trying to keep that heel lifted, trying to find a little balance here. And then we're back into that crescent. Very nice. Good job. Hands to the heart. Let's bring our foot forward, back into that seated form. 
and then sweep our arms up towards the sky. Dive it down and over, relax that head and neck. Breathe it here in the standing forward fold. Let's take both of our feet back to top of plank. Drop to our knees, back into child's pose. In our child's pose, let's take our arms by our sides with our palms facing up and take that forehead to the floor. If that's available to you, again, feel free to use a block here. If it's not available to you, if it feels better. And take our hands right by our knees, press ourselves up, and let's take our legs underneath us. So we'll go into a bridge, and then we're going to go into a modified shoulder stand, and it's not, it, it's not as crazy as you think. We're going to take it down, do a bridge, so we'll work that back a little bit. So lining our feet up with our knees, our knees with our hips, grab that block, take that between those knees so that we're engaging the inner thighs, outer thighs, glutes. Let's press through our hands, through our triceps. Lift our pelvis towards the sky, and let's hold here for seven full breaths. So plant those feet, plant those shoulders, chin to the chest, and seven deep breaths here. Inhale it deeply, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale, inhale it here, and exhale, two more, inhale deep, and exhale, one more, inhale deep, and exhale. We're gonna do half one here, so inhale it deeply. As we exhale, let's slowly lower everything to the floor, one vertebrae at a time, and pelvis goes down last. You can release that block, reach behind one knee, go ahead and pull that into the chest, and then reach behind the other, pull that into the chest. And then reach behind both, chin to chest, forehead to the knees. And then release that. We're going to take our block and we're gonna take it right underneath like the glutes, like where your belt would be at. So it's like low back, right there at the hips, lifting that right there. Pressing through our hands like we do with our bridge and we're going to lift our legs up towards the sky. So right here is a modified shoulder stand. The block is holding that pelvis and that low back so that you should be nice and supported here, flexing through those feet. If it feels weird, then you might need to have your block go lower. If it's too much pain in your mid back, you might have to have it go a little bit lower so it's right on that sacrum, lifting up through that, or if it's too low, so just finding where it's comfortable. Or if this isn't comfortable at all, then go ahead and go against the wall and you can do your legs up that way. But we've got that nice inversion here, flexing through our feet, breathing it here. Those legs start to shake, very normal. Holding this nice inversion, maybe pointing and flexing. If you need to bend at those knees a little bit, you can. But our goal here is just to keep those legs up for as long as we can here. Maybe for a few more breaths. And then gently, let's release one leg, release the other leg. You can keep that block there if you like. That's a really nice rest right here. Nice supported bridge. 
Breathe it here. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do those legs up one more time. So we'll do it for a few breaths. So again, press through hands and elbows. Lift our legs up. Just three breaths here with our legs up. Inhale it deep. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And as we exhale, let's go ahead and release and release. And you can release that block out from underneath you. Very nice. Reach behind one knee. Pull that into your chest. Give that a nice big hug. And then switch sides, reach, nice big hug, and again, one more time, and reach, good, reach behind both, chin to chest, forehead to the knees, and then release that, keeping our knees together, let's go ahead and drop both of our knees over to one side, take our arms into that nice big capital T, and look away from our legs as we do this take stock recognize maybe where you're feeling this at maybe in your upper back lower back maybe it feels good maybe it doesn't but recognize give yourself a nice big stretch here nice deep breaths and breathe into the places where it feels most uncomfortable think about your breath expanding those tight muscles or soothing those sore muscles. Think about that breath just moving around. Let's slowly bring our knees back to center and then let's get ready to drop them over to the other side. So dropping them over, again those arms into that T, looking the opposite way now and recognize how you feel on this side and maybe it feels completely different than the other side. So recognize where you're feeling this at. Maybe you're feeling it on the front side of the body, on this side, and the other side you were feeling it in the back. Just recognize, not trying to fix it, but just becoming aware. Breathing deep, breathe into that tightness or soreness or if anything's uncomfortable, or maybe it feels really good, just breathe. And then let's go ahead and bring this back to center. And then let's go ahead and take our right ankle, place it onto left thigh. If you can, reaching behind that left thigh and pull that in. If this isn't available you, for you to get behind that leg, go ahead and take your leg down and then press with that hand away. So you're still getting a good stretch. You'll just get it on the opposite side. So you're either holding back here or you're pressing here. So whatever feels best, or you can do both that really good stretch. Maybe you rock it a little bit from side to side. And then gently release and release. Take it to the other side. Ankle to the thigh, either reaching behind or pressing away. Again, wherever your flexibility is going to let you go today. Breathing deep. And again, maybe rocking it a little bit. And gently release that. Let's press through our heels towards one end of the wall, reach towards the other end. Grab whatever you need for your final relaxation as we move into that. So pressing, reaching and lengthening, lifting that low back, that rib cage up off of the floor, add an inch to your height. Maybe with those legs long, maybe rotating those ankles or rotating the wrists. Maybe reaching right and reaching left. Add as much height and length to your 
body as you can. And then when you are ready, allow yourself to begin to sink and to begin to settle into the floor, maybe letting all of that air out so that each muscle group can sink. If you need to bend your knees to get your low back into the floor, if that feels comfortable, if you need to have your knees over to one side, do whatever works for best for you here, because this is your time, this is your relaxation. So however your body feels the best. But beginning to quiet your mind, quiet your body, quiet those thoughts, relax your face, your forehead, Relax your jaw, release your jaw. Relax your neck, your chest, and your arms. Mm -hmm. Relax your belly and your rib cage. Relax the pelvis and the glutes. the hamstrings and the quadriceps and the front thighs, back thighs. They relax as those feet maybe fall off to the side, ankles relax, your entire body. So when you're ready, beginning to bring yourself into a seated form, bringing your mind back to the present, bringing your body back to the present, but taking your time slowly bring yourself up, sitting however it feels most comfortable for you. Maybe sitting a little bit taller, a little stronger, more lengthened, strengthened. A nice deep inhale here. And exhale. Bringing hands to prayer right in front of the heart. Let's go ahead and take fingers to forehead. As we leave today, let us think thoughts of truth and thoughts of love, thoughts that are kind and thoughts that are pure, thoughts that encourage and uplift and do not discourage or tear down. Take fingers to the lips. As we leave today and speak with others, let us speak words of love and words of truth, words that encourage and uplift and do not discourage or tear down. And take hands to heart. As we leave today, let our lives be a light of truth and a light of love, having hearts of compassion and mercy, knowing that we have not been given the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love and the sound and peaceful mind. Let's inhale it deeply and exhale it. And thank you for joining me. Remember that you are seen and that you are heard. You are important, you are valuable, you have a voice, and you have a choice. You can't control what others do or say, but you can control how you respond. Be blessed today, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.